I wanted to give an update on the rice diet. If anybody is still following me on this rice diet, this diet, uh, this video is for you. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Are you still doing the rice diet? Are you interested in the, uh, interested in the rice diet? Do you have questions about the rice diet? Leave them down below. Couple of things that I've been doing. I added in back in uh, tomatoes, onion, uh, corn, beans, a uh, little bit a little bit of pasta, onion, uh, just pita bread. I think that's about it. I think that's about it. No fat. Uh, oh, sweet potatoes. I gotta say that I, I really, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. I, it's not that it's like been messing up my digestion, but I haven't noticed as much recovery, as much energy. I'm one of these people that really don't like a lot of ingredients in, in things that I make. So I, I'm, just, I'm gonna go back. So I, I, it's just, it's too much. I, I'm one of these, I used to be one of these people that said it's got like four or five ingredients that, that might you know, be too much. I, I gotta go back to that. If you're somebody who really likes to cook, um, you know, maybe ignore this. If you're somebody who likes to cook and you, you love doing it and everything. Like I did go, I was originally gonna be going to school for uh, being a chef and a, and a baker. I just, it's its just not my life anymore. I, I'd rather just make uh, some rice and wrap it in nori and dip it in, uh, you know, cut it up and, and dip it in sauce and just kind of call it a day. I, this is much more my speed. Or another thing that I've been really liking doing uh, lately is just making potatoes uh, in, in different forms and then kind of dipping them in a sauce or baking potatoes and putting baked beans on it, on the potatoes. Very simple stuff. Uh, and then the rest of the day, because I still think I got insulin issues, uh, I have fruit. And people with insulin issues will notice that fruit digests so well. It's, it's almost insane how, how well uh, uh, fruit digests and how fast and how it really doesn't have an insulin response to the point where if you are kind of doing the raw till four type thing, when you do actually eat, cook stuff you kind of notice an inflammatory response to it so there there is that so just be aware of that and kind of notice that in yourself kind of notice how much foods you add in if you have an inflammatory response like you know phlegm and stuff like that start noticing this uh and kind of curtail your diet around that uh because that's gonna be your best option. And in my mind, I know this is bro science, but if you have an inflammatory response to something, chances are you're also gonna have is issue, insulin issues with it, but I don't know. You know, I don't even know if that's something that I could even go figure out. I have no idea. I have no idea. So, I'm simplify, like Dr. Dr. Walter Kettner used to say, the diet's more fun to talk about than to actually do. I'm not gonna to get to that point just because a lot of the people that he was seeing were actually, you know, had, had fatal like diseases, uh, like it, they were peace and out, right? This is not, this was not good. They were more than just had to lose weight. The people that he did have uh, lose weight, he only had them on like 4,800 calories a day. And they had to do that basically the rest of their life. That's just not how I want to live. And I think he missed the, the boat on that one. I think he really should have looked into the Minnesota starvation uh, project or whatever that was called by Ansel Keys, just because it, it forever messes up your metabolism. And I, I noticed when I did the pound of sugar a day, uh, that was two years ago, pretty much two years ago now, I was adding a pound of sugar a day and my thyroid cured itself, my testosterone doubled in two months and a bunch of other markers, I started losing weight, but my gut just couldn't handle it. So I had to stop doing, even to this day, I can't, I can't dump sugar like I was doing then. So that's just not an option anymore. However, so the rice diet was fruit, fruit juice, sugar, and rice. That's basically all it was. I'm adding in potatoes. I'm adding in sweet potatoes. It's probably where I'm gonna keep it. I, I do like the fact that when I add beans in, it really helps my digestion. If you're somebody who has digestive issues, maybe try lentils and beans. It might help you out. It's helped me out. Uh, not that I was really having a huge digestion issue as it were. I have noticed though, when I do just rice, like there was a, a one or two weeks where I really didn't have potatoes and I was doing just rice. My digestion is not as good as it is when I mix potatoes and rice. Like I'll have one day potatoes, one day rice, one day potatoes, on and on. Digestion's uh, much better on that. 
that is my update. I haven't been do, uh, doing juice as much uh, as I was in the beginning of this. Actually, I was going through like two or three bottles of that juice in the beginning. Now I can make one bottle last an entire week. I just, I like having a little bit in the morning because I usually cellar size in the morning and I'm actually doing a 30 day experiment with the cellar sizer doing very specific thing. I want to talk about that, but I'm not gonna talk about it until after the 30 days has elapsed and we will go from there. It's been quite nice so far, I'll say that. So everything entailed, so basically I'm doing this experiment with the cellar sizer and I'm also doing this rice diet thing for at least 90 days. I really wanna see how that goes. I did add in the other stuff that I mentioned. I'm gonna be cutting it back. I do still have some corn. So I'm going to uh, just finish that out. And when I'm done with that, I'm probably gonna be just be done with that. But the beans though, I do like adding them in intermittently. One of the most famous things, that, that, you know, the people in the, the Southwest and, and this country and the Southwest, just period, like, uh, you know, Mexico and those areas, rice and beans was a huge thing, right? And it, it was a huge thing for a reason. They do complement each other quite well. They digest together quite well. One of my favorite things to do is just make rice and baked, bata or baked beans. It, it's so good, it's ridiculous. I haven't added in any fat whatsoever. I'm going to keep it that way. We're just gonna keep on this train for at least 90 days, see where it takes us, see how it goes. I haven't weighed myself. I gotta be coming up on a uh, on month two at some point. At the end of, actually, you know what? I'll do a weigh in at the end of the 30 days for the seller sizer, uh, and then I'll, you guys can see my weight at that point for that. I think that's it, that's the update. I mean, how much can you really update this, this diet? You know, it's pretty simple. It's, like he said, it was easier to talk, or better to talk about than actually do. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, uh, comments down down below. How do you how are you liking it? Um, questions about the diet? Uh, you know, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. <laughs>